Dog of the Week show it is. Press day riding in the hills of High Point. And you know what that is at the bottom of this hill? Do you recognize this? Good job, Christian Craig. These are ruts. These are ruts. We're back to East Coast conditions, and it's going to be an even bigger transition this weekend because sometimes the Colorado round is gnarly deep and gnarly rutted. Sometimes it hangs out in its own way. Not this time. So this is a big adjustment, and I think that's why a lot of teams, and there are plenty of privateers out here also, that wanted to get in on this and experience these conditions and see where their bikes are. And I think that makes this round, round four, the last, you're somewhat guessing, you somewhat don't know what you have. After this one, I think the excuses are off the table. So I'm brought to you by the Honda CRF 250R and CRF 450R. Here's a pair of... Honda's right there. Watch Joe Shimoda. Much better second moto last week. That's more than Joe Shimoda moving toward the podium you expect. And his teammate Chad Hymas coming up a moto win. I'll talk about the 250 class in a moment. I said to Hymas today, I'm like, was this week awesome? Were you just floating on air? And he said, no business as usual. And I said, you gotta, you gotta take these milestones and enjoy it a little bit. And he said, you don't want to get too pumped up. And I'm like, what about after an overall? And he said, okay, I'll do that. If he wins an overall, I'll get pumped. And of course, CRF 450R, you know all about Hunter and Jet Lawrence. They've each had the red plate at different times this year. I did talk to Chase Sexton today, and he said uh, his description of last weekend was... A four-letter word I'm not going to say here, and it begins in the letter S. That was what his weekend was last weekend. He said he kind of knew from practice it wasn't going to be good. They did go back to Florida and make some changes to the bike. Like I said, I think everyone is still in it when they can say, we haven't ridden these ruts, this soft dirt, this type of elevation change. It's There's big elevation change in Eintel and uh, Thunder Valley, but this is uh, tighter. It's more compact and they're really fast stuff they have there, especially hanged out. So it's different. So we're still guessing a little bit. But there goes Tom Bial. The 250 class, I don't think we're guessing as much as we once were. Hard to believe that one class has Jet Lawrence in it, coming into the championship off of a perfect season last year. And the 450 now might be the unpredictable division. Hard to resist getting bikes going over jumps on camera. Hayden Deegan is starting to put the clamps down on the 250 class. We went into Thunder Valley. The points were close. Kitchen had been good in two rounds. Bial won the second moto at round two. But well, look, Deegan won the overall again. I know that Hymas really emerged. It was a straight up fight with Bial. Deegan even crashed and came out on top of it. We can head back, dude. Brought my kid to ride. To take it from him, personally, this track is deep. It's got sawdust on it. It's soft. It is East Coast conditions all the way. It's tough on a bike with little wheels. YZ65 today. Some of the riders really are going to enjoy that, though. Those are the conditions they actually uh, were hoping for. Like Aaron Plessinger. More on him in a minute. But I just want to say, Deegan is starting to threaten. 20. Suddenly, it's a 23-point lead. He's won four to six motos. He's won three overalls in a row. So that's what I'm saying. We are running out of time for everyone to say, I'm still feeling it out. I'm still figuring out where I'm at. And now these results start to become repeatable, more so as the year goes on. You're not getting a feel for things by round four. So this is the chance for the bounce back. Uh, if someone else is going to start winning in the 250 class, it is going to have to start now. Next weekend's different. The Owl was very good at Southwick, but Southwick is not a race that necessarily builds momentum. A sand guy can go in there, win Southwick, and go right back to where he was the weekend before. So I think if you want repeatable, I am a true championship contender results, it has to start right here. That's for guys like the Owl and Sexton and Kitchen, Hymas, Shimoda, or the Lawrence brothers. I, I think we can assume they're going to be good. Uh, Justin Cooper. All these guys, I think we're really going to see where they're at, and it's not going to have as much variance as it goes on. This is the last chance on these softer conditions. Now, I did talk to a few guys today, as mentioned, Aaron Plessinger. You say softer conditions, he's pumped. One guy's happy, very deep, bro. <laughs> you want that, don't you? Yeah, yeah, man. I uh, I like when the track is deep. It gets uh, it gets real technical. It slows it down a little bit. Last yeah. week was was kind of wide open. Um, yeah, and I struggled. 
struggle. But uh, no, we're back this week. We are uh, feeling good, feeling ready to rumble. And uh, a few starts like the uh, like the first moto last week, and I think we'll be in a good position. Now you said you're making some bike changes, and most people are going to say, "Bro, I thought a Hangtown had it dialed." So explain this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At Hangtown, it was it was weird because like again, the track wasn't like super deep, and and uh, the bike was a little bit more uh, front end heavy, yeah. which I do not like. And um, I didn't struggle at all at Hangtown, uh, especially when I was in the lead. But it just didn't feel like you know I wanted it to feel. And I thought um, I thought I knew what to do to get the the bike where it needed to be. So we went back to uh, an old shock that I had and um, went to Colorado. And you guys seen how that worked. So uh, we switched back to. Hangtown shock, and uh, we made a little bit of adjustment to it, not too much, and uh, yeah, it felt awesome this week. So we're uh, we're back on track, baby. And now, now you're just praying for ruts. Give us yeah, some ruts. Yeah, yeah, let's give us some ruts. I mean, Hangtown can produce. It always produces. Um, there's a small chance of rain this, uh, this tonight, this evening. So um, I'm hoping uh, it's it's a little bit slower than last week, a little more ruts, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, that's Aaron Plessinger. Also talked to Malcolm Stewart. Look, I don't know if we were saying it, but I think a lot of us knew coming into this year when Malcolm Stewart was finally going to have to race outdoors, uh, maybe he'd find it miserable. Maybe he'd find it really hot, really grueling, really difficult. This dude is having a good time, and he's been solid. He's not quite in the battle up front yet. He's been like the seven, eighth, ninth guy, but this is good. Let's talk to him and also his teammate Christian Craig, who's finally coming around a little bit. All right, next to the list. Hey, Malcolm Stewart, I've heard some interviews. You're like pretty stoked. Like you're happy to be back out here. That's what I've the vibe I'm picking up. Yeah, I am. I'm actually having a good time. Good time yeah. so far. Uh, the first three has treated me well. Now, you know, let's get around round eight. I don't, I don't know if I keep the same smiles. We're not sure yet. But okay. So okay. far, they've been treating me very well. Uh, I think for me, I think the coolest thing that I've been enjoying is the welcome back, Mookie. Okay. Um, that that for some reason, that I, I like for some for somebody that's been gone for ten years, pretty much wiped off the circuit. Yeah. <laughs> like being yeah. here, another ten years for me. Uh, it's actually really cool, like that fans actually like remember me and like. And we're like, hey, I remember you came here last time I raced here was, was 2014 TLD Racing Honda. And they're like, I still got your poster. And they were like, you know, I signed one that was at Hangtown. I just think like little things like that are cool, like that people are still like, are still like big, big fans in the outdoors. And, and I enjoy it. Like I said, I've been enjoying that. Tracks have been great so far. Um, it's, I think for me, the biggest thing is once I got hurt last year, missing a whole year, that was my worst injury I've ever had. Uh, missing a whole year of racing just made you kind of wake up and realize like how cool racing is, like whether it's indoor, outdoor or not. And you just, you know, maybe, I don't know, getting older or whatever, but I've been enjoying it so far. Yeah. It is a grind, but I also feel like it's only gonna help me uh, for the long run. Uh, what What's the biggest thing you want to improve to get out of it? You're like eighth place guy right now. Yeah, I'm a solid eight. I'm going seven, seven, seven eight. Yeah. Okay, I, gotta, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I got to figure that out. Um, but I don't know. Like, you know, I've been riding good. Like, yeah. they, I've been having some great performances. It just, I don't know. We're, we're the overall results, I was like, dang it, man. We're like, yes, I come eight. back, I get off my bike, and my mechanic was like, yeah, you got eight. I'm like, what? I got seven, seven. Like, how you get eight? But I, that's, I think that's the cool mystery of outdoors. Like, you know, um, it, it happens. There's sometimes that you may go, you know, six, six for fourth. I mean, you know, depending on uh, how it is. So that's the reason why there's Moto One. Moto two. Um, like I said, for me, I've been having a good time so far. It's been it's been really really good. I'm also looking forward to racing tomorrow and, and and the rest of the races. I think I'd heard you say it's going to take three or four rounds. So are you making progress? Yeah. Like I mean, at least physically, are you making progress? For sure. Yeah. For sure. I think yeah. um, last week was the first time where in Moto One I wasn't even thinking about my elbow. Okay. Where the first two rounds it was like do what I can to not think about my elbow. Okay. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, yes. Um, I was going around bumps that I could have just went through and had no problem with. Yeah. Like it was that like week. So um, now that I'm, I'm starting to break through that, 
Uh, Moto 2 is still pretty rough on me. Yes. Um, I get to a point where I'm like, all right, let's just hang on for it yep. and finish it out. But uh, I'm getting closer to that pack that's just right in front of me, which is 789. So yeah. uh, I'm happy and to make the call on the Thursday before Paula that I was even going to race. And it was that close. Yeah. It was. I told the team, let's make the call on Thursday. And wow. We did it and made the call. I think it's the right choice. So we're having fun. This is riding yourself into shape. That's exactly. what you chose to do. Exactly. Is it just elbow or is it also just having not raced, not having ridden? Are it's, you dealing with that too? I'd say 90% elbow. Really? So, yeah. It's literally just, I lost so much muscle in my arm. Yeah. Um, just even hanging on under a dirt bike's heart. So I know it's going to take time, but it's going to build up and eventually be back to normal. And I'm actually, uh, I'm getting hardware that is supposed to be removed on Monday. And uh, I'm actually excited because it's going to be a quick recovery. I can be okay. riding the next day. And um, something that's probably limiting me a little yes. bit right now will get removed and be uh, in a better spot. That's how many surgeries on that thing now? Five. After Monday will be five. Five. Yeah, but so. this will not, you will not miss Southwick. No. You can race. No, okay. I, we did on the weekend off, so we'll be good. Bonus coverage. Is there two racers from South Africa? Do I have that right? Uganda. Oh, Uganda. You're Uganda, South Africa? South Africa. South Africa and Uganda. Um, what's your name? And you've Stop. made it the last couple weeks. Yeah, in Hangtown, qualified through the LCQ and Thunder Valley through from practice. Yes. And what was your name? Stop. Okay. And what's your number? 565. Five. Okay. And this, you made your debut last week? I made my debut last week, uh, 28th in qualifying, and then we got a 24th in race one. Okay. And I was just saying now, walking and looking at the elevation, yeah, it's super crazy. <laughs> you looked at videos of High Point, but it wasn't. We looked at videos, like try, we tried to get ahead, you know, plan it. We come here and the hill looks like... <laughs> yes, yes, it, it doesn't do it. It doesn't do it. Uh, and you don't have elevation change in South Africa nothing, like this? Nothing, nothing at all. Like this. Just ride flat, flat ground 24-7. Okay, Stav, and you are... Dalton. Dalton, and what's your number? 451. 451. And you're both 250 class? Yeah. Okay. Good luck on the hills, boys. Thank you so much. Welcome aboard. Uganda and South Africa just living the dream to come out here. But yes, uh, these are different conditions. These are definitely different conditions. All right, that's it. Now the, 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 what goes down must go back up. I got to walk up this super steep hill, but that's what it's all about. Look at this, a high point, everybody. Look at this. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. The East Coast is here. Had a fun ride earlier, open practice. The fans haven't seen a race up close for a while uh, because we haven't gone east to Pro Motocross until now. The conditions are different. Will the results be different? Still a lot on the line. Still early enough. The pattern, though, it's going to start establishing itself this weekend. See how it goes.